Hey YouTubes, just a short one tonight to uh, tell you something about uh, if you're ever going to build a layout, be careful of the wood you select. I mean, what's available these days is just mostly crap. You don't want this. This has been cut down too early. Anything with even a hint of gray, green appearance, I mean. And if it feels moist at all, don't buy it. Leave it there. This stuff, too soft also. This is supposed to be premium stock. Pay, paid good, good money for, for that too. No, no, no. This was the best of all. Look at the sides of the wood. See how you can still see the tree in this one? As to where you know, it's, it's, well, let me flip this one over for comparison, but you can see the tree in that piece of wood there. I mean, this was learned the hard way, as most things done on this uh, layout that I am making. And we're having a kind of a celebration tonight because we have reached the end of the carpentry work and the fun begins now hopefully <laughs> for sure but yeah spend the extra money get the wood it's just hard it's harder it's harder to drill through it's it's harder <clears throat> and and you can feel it and you you don't want not do this you know, it, it's hard to get anything made good these days. But if you'll spend the extra money and buy the, the wood that costs a little more, it's well worth it for your end product. This is what you want. Not this stuff. I mean, just for, this was just framing. And you're still better off with this. That's what you want. You know, in some of the less obvious areas, uh, I, I use this stuff. Uh, the, the, the second grade. If you have to go to, but, you know, go to that, go to that. If you can't afford to make the whole thing, Out of the Douglas County wood. And this one here comes from Georgia. And you know this this costs good too, but this was oh I think roughly four dollars for a uh, a stud. So it's well worth it if you'll spend a little extra money, you'll come out with a better product. And uh, you know when you drill or you screw into it, you can you can just feel it and hear it bite, which will make for a much more secure connection to whatever you're trying to do. As you see here, I, I've had to add many, many uh, braces and other things to make sure that, you know, I can stand on this. And I'm going to do a, a little more of an interview tomorrow. I'll show you the underneath 
and how I brace things. Now, by, by far, this is not a textbook way to do it. There is no textbook way that I know of. Gonna run a bead of caulk in there, invisible caulk. Uh, you know, there will be another layer, complete layer going over all this. So none of this will ever be seen. Everything's pretty straight. This one came out perfect. And the whole thing is, I believe it's a 10 by 8. Yeah, we got four there, four there, and two feet here. So, I wasn't able to do the L-shaped one like I wanted to in here and have my roundhouse and turntable. I guess we're going to have to wait until I move into the big house for that one. But we are getting ready. We made the final cuts tonight. A miter saw will be coming off the table. And also, yeah, if uh, if you build a layout, I, I I recommend using these these screws. They cost about nine bucks for a box. But like the title says on it, do it once, do it right. And after trying a couple different kinds of screws, I just start spending money on those. None of them snapped off. I was able to take them back out and reposition stuff if I had to. And they went in the second to third time. Well worth the money. Oh, and by the way, let me tell you too. If you're ever looking for a jam box, this thing here is made by a gorilla. And man, I took this over the road with me, and uh, it cost $99. It's rechargeable, it's Bluetooth, and man, does this thing pump out some sounds for, for its size. one of the best products I've purchased in the last 10 years. So that's it for tonight from Lionel for Less. We're gonna get in here and start cleaning this stuff up. Got pieces of wood all around still. And uh, messed around and made this thing. To maybe put some trains on have another one over there just uh, temporary to get started get stuff everything right now is uh, in other parts of the house driving my wife mad and I would like to thank my wife all to also for a little the little assistance that she did give me in here there's just some things that you cannot do alone and uh, she came in here and helped me one night and everything progressed from there. So once again, this is the wood you want. A lesson learned the hard way. Spend the extra money, do it right the first time. This is Kenny B from Lionel for Less. Have a good day tomorrow, and happy railroading, everybody.